The economy is a big player in what's going on in this war, and the resulting hike in prices because of the crisis in Ukraine are expected to be highlighted by the president during the State of the Union address tonight. And we're told the White House speechwriters have been reworking tonight's speech for Mr. Biden to respond to the events in Ukraine. And you can expect the president to highlight his work to keep the U.S. and its allies united against Russian aggression. But the president will also focus on domestic issues. There is a full plate on his schedule, including rising gas prices, including inflation inflation, including the pandemic and the divisiveness that continues in the wake of the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Just moments ago, I spoke with Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren about what she expects for the tonight State of the Union address. Number one thing is Ukraine. Uh, what's the update? What are we doing? How are we working with our allies? This is a fight for democracy. Uh, number two, how we're going to lower costs for families. Uh, and that means things like childcare and transportation so people can get to work. And number three, our values. Uh, a woman's right to make her own decisions about her health care, about abortion, uh, immigration reform. I'm expecting the president to give a bold plan for how we fight climate change, how we fight our dependence on uh, imported oil into our country. Uh, it is absolutely necessary because we can create millions of jobs here in America, reduce greenhouse gases, and do so with environmental justice for the people in our country. Both Massachusetts senators just moments ago here in advance of the president's State of the Union address.